I am Usha Kishore. I am an Indian-born British writer. Shall I say I must stay over on the Isle of Man? And when I'm not writing or translating from the Sanskrit, I teach English at QE2 High School in Peel. I live in words, in words that I read, in words that I write, in metaphors of exile, in allegories of solitude. Immigrant is the name of the book. It's my third poetry collection. It is coming out and, uh, in March and it's being launched in Bloomsbury at the London Review of Bookshop. It is being published by the, a prestigious London press called Eyewear Publishing. The book primarily examines the political, cultural and linguistic spaces of first-generation South Asians on the British Isles. It maps the journey of um, British Indians, as we call ourselves, through the various spheres of British society, carrying our heterogeneous cultures, languages, and of course, relics of the British Raj, not to mention the partition of India in 1947. I'm attempting to map the diasporic space, which is actually a spectral space, if you would call it that. I feel sometimes like a ghost flitting around in search of a nation, an imagined space called nation, and I find that I'm neither here nor there. My country grows with its roots penetrating my bones. It binds a culture of distance into my heart. I am reflecting often on the history, the joint history of uh, the British Isles and India, the culture, the Indian culture, and the British culture, and perhaps some kind of meeting point in the horizon, and the language, which is English. I mean, this is a very contentious space because it negotiates uh, between the immigrant and the host population. It's also occupying a different space to British English because I'm trying to convey in a language not my own, a culture that is my own. It is a medium of expression and at the same time, dare I say, it is a weapon of resistance against discrimination, marginalization. Restive, my thoughts wait in the wings to appropriate the colonial tongue and versify a post-colonial Weltanschauung. I'm greatly indebted to Culture Valin. This is my second grant from Culture Valin. The first was, my, was for my first book in 2014 on Manalan Sile. I'm a great fan of Manalan, which was launched as part of the Isle of Culture celebrations. Um, Culture Valin is doing diverse and numerous projects with individuals, organizations, writers like me, artists, and promoting uh, manxness in the widest sense of the word. The Isle of Man is becoming increasingly um, cosmopolitan, and there is a great diversity of cultures, people from Europe, from the Philippines, from India, from all over the world. Literature is a good medium which can cross barriers and create um, assimilation into society and create a diverse multicultural, multilingual society. I am an exile here, I'm an exile there, but without this exile, I'm no one. Thank you, Manalin. <laughs>